Good morning everybody. Um, I just woke up about half an hour ago. It's still pretty early here in Jakarta. Um, and I've decided I'm going to make a few little tutorials today for you guys. Mainly about tracking. Tracking your links in your affiliate campaigns because this is something that you need to this is something that you need to be doing um, so you can differentiate between your emails which sales are coming in for it from emails oh, I got a bug on my arm <laughs> sorry about that which um, mails are coming in which sales are coming in from your email and which sales are coming in from YouTube and which sales are coming in from other different tracking from other different traffic sources so you need to know this stuff and it's important that you're tracking so you know which ones are working, which ones are not working, which ones you can scale up, etc. So we're going to jump onto my computer now and we'll go and uh, explain it all to you. Right then, I, I'm just going to jump onto my uh, Warrior Plus account and JVZoo account and I'll show you exactly what I mean by tracking codes and different uh, traffic sources. So let's just... Um, go into I did this with um, with a product called money monster last week and so here you go tracking code uh, YT which means YouTube mail which obviously means email and AdWords which means uh, Google AdWords I was doing some video um, video adverts so I'm going to show you how to set these up because otherwise you're just going to have one link for everything. So you're not going to know where the sales are coming from, how good your EPCs are, etc. Um, again, in JVZoo, you can do this. Um, if you go to Affiliates and then Transactions, you can do this on JVZoo as well. It's a little bit more complicated, but um, I'm going to show you how to do that. So if we go to all time and then I'm just going to paste in the name of this product that I did this with, Passion Tube Profits, let me search for that. Okay so here <clears throat> you have the TID here, that stands for tracking ID, so I have YouTube, Mail, Mail, so I can see where the sales have come from as well on JVZoo. Now, if you are making a um, if you're making bonus pages or bridge pages and you're sending your traffic to the bridge page then your affiliate uh, link is going to be in your bridge page and not in YouTube and not in your mail and not in AdWords or Facebook ads or wherever you are getting the traffic from so um, usually in your YouTube description you're going to have a link Okay, well, I always link to a bridge page first. I always link to my bonus page first before they go to the sales page. So I can warm the subscribers up. I can uh, give them value by giving them my detailed review and also um, showing them my bonuses. So if you're going to be doing this, it's a little bit more complicated. What you need to do is make different bonus pages for each different traffic source. So, for example, with Money Monster, there we go, my pages. With Money Monster, <clears throat> I made three different bonus pages. One for YouTube, one for Mail, and one for AdWords, as you can see here. Money Monster, this was for AdWords, this was for Mail, and this one was for YouTube. So, if you're using Commission Gorilla, it's pretty easy to set up because all you need to do is just clone the page, and it'll just copy everything. So it's really, really simple to do. If you are making your own bonus page on your blog, then it's a little bit more complicated, okay? You're gonna to have to make three different pages. If you're using Thrive, um, the Thrive plugin that I, that I always use for my landing pages, bonus pages, and everything on my blog, you can actually, there's a way that you can clone it as well, and I'll show you in a second how to do that. But first, let's deal with Commission Gorilla. So assuming you have this, if you don't have it, I really do recommend it. I use it in my business on a daily basis and it saves me so much time. You can pick it up through a link down below. So 
what I do is I just create the, the, the standard template page first. So for example, um, in this campaign it's just Money Monster and I ended up changing this to AdWords. So I'm going to show you what I did here. You hear the dude outside. He's uh, basically the rag and bone man. Yeah, in England, like about 50, 60 years ago, they had people going around um, people's houses or going around in the street asking for any old iron. Okay, well, that still happens over here. So you might hear some random noises outside. I'll, I'll try and show you actually when, the, when another guy comes past in a minute. <coughs> anyway, you create your bonus page first. Okay, you put all your bonuses on there, etc., and all of your buttons and, and everything that you need. And then you go to page settings, and underneath where it says affiliate link, you paste in your affiliate link. Right with Warrior Plus, you just um, you just grab your affiliate link, and then it's going to look like this. Let me just paste it into a notepad so you can you can see it better. Okay, it's going to look like this. This is a standard affiliate link. Now, at the end of it, you just put a forward slash and then name your source of traffic. So, for example, here, it's forward slash AdWords. All right. So, you just simply make that in there. And then you would save your page. Okay, I'm not going to save it because it's already good to go. So, I'm just going to cancel it. And then once you've made that page, it's very, very simple. All you need to do is go down to the page that you just created money monster where are you money monster and then you click on this button here which says clone page okay so you just click on there clone the page it's gonna do exactly what it says it's gonna clone the page you just simply need to rename it and you need to add your new um, your new affiliate link so we just go to page settings as you can see bonus page name it says clone I'm just going to name it to uh, Money Monster. I'm just going to call it Money Monster Demo because I'm going to delete it after this tutorial because I don't need it. And then you would change your affiliate link. So instead of forward slash AdWords, you would put forward slash YouTube or forward slash Mail. Okay. And then when you're done, you click Save and Exit. And then you're going to get the link to this particular bonus page here. So this is going to be my link to YouTube. Um, okay, for if I just put YouTube in my affiliate link there on this bonus page, then I would copy this and I would put it into my campaigns folder for Money Monster. And I'll show you what that looks like. Um, when was it? November Money Monster. So I have my campaigns uh, here. Right, so here I have three different links. They're all from three different bonus pages. The first one is for AdWords, the second one is for YouTube, and the third one is for Mail. So remember to use these links with each one of these traffic sources. So for example, this one, this is the one that I'm going to paste into my emails. Okay, and this is the one that I'm going to put into my YouTube videos and this one is the one that I'm going to use in my AdWords campaigns so they're all going to different bonus pages but all the bonus pages are exactly the same just with different affiliate links so you know where the traffic is coming from so that's how to do that now if you are doing it in JVZoo then let me just give you an example the tracking ID is a little bit more complicated it's not as simple as just forward slash and then the name of your traffic source it's a little bit more complicated so for example commission code okay get links this is my um, th this is my affiliate link <coughs> so I would just copy that and then at the end of it you need to put this little piece of code here which is forward slash question mark TID equals okay so we would just copy that and we would add that to the end of our affiliate link here and then after that then you would name your traffic source so I would put AdWords there and then I would copy this whole thing and I would put it inside my Commission Gorilla page inside the uh, the affiliate link part there 
and then I'd make a new bonus page with my other tracking code. I hope this all makes sense. I've tried to explain it as simple as I can. But that's basically how you do it. And you really, really need to be tracking where all of your sales are coming from so you know you can tweak things, you can make things better, you can try and improve your um, EPC, you can try and improve the amount of sales, etc., etc. So that's how to do that. I hope um, that's cleared up this problem for a lot of you. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye.